Religious beliefs, rituals, practices, and customs are all part of the expression of the spiritual self. What to believe and how to manifest the belief is entirely dependent on the individual. Religious beliefs and practices, therefore, are formed relative to its context and culture. Here are some rituals and ceremonies performed by Filipinos in all regions of the Philippines. Padugo Padugo or bloodletting is often done before a house is constructed. According to popular Filipino beliefs, this will help drive away evil spirits that live in the land where they are building their home. Padugo is a tradition observed for the longest time. It goes away back to the early days when beliefs or anito or deities were at its peak. Festivals A festival is a gathering of people to celebrate something. There are many festivals we have in the Philippines. Although each and every festival has its own local significance and is unique in its own way, all festivals ultimately has religious and spiritual significance. Philippine festivals are celebrations to express gratitude for a good harvest in honor of the town's patron saint. When the Spaniards started their colonial rule in the Philippines, one of their earlier agenda was to convert as many Filipinos to the Catholic faith. One strategy they implemented was the building of chapels and taught them to embrace Christianism. Penitentia The word penitentia means repentance, the strong desire to be forgiven. Traditionally, the word penitentia or penance have been viewed as a punishment Penitentia is a ritual performed by some of our locals who want to repent for their sins and wrongdoings. The word penance derives from Old French and Latin penitentia, both of which derive from the same root meaning repentance, the desire to be forgiven. Marriage Marriage in the Philippines is one of the important sectors of the family code. Before they could not allow men and women being together until they've been married. Today, a typical Filipino wedding consists of the following rituals a candle lighting, a coin blessing, a veiling, the tying of the nuptial cord, as well as the throwing of the rice grains. Around 1900, Americans took over the Philippines from the Spaniards. They had to consider the law of marriage. Bayanihan Bayanihan refers to the spirit of communal unity, work, and cooperation to achieve a particular goal. Bayanihan is a Filipino word derived from the word bayan, meaning town, nation, or community in general. Bayanihan literally means being a bayan and is thus used to refer to a spirit of communal unity and cooperation. Fiesta Traditionally, the fiesta is a time of joyful celebration for Filipinos who cook heaps of hearty food, throw open their doors to visitors, and parade in the streets. Fiestas are important events because they merge and nurture culture, history, family relationships, and camaraderie, and also introduce us to new acquaintances. We pray that the tradition of celebrating fiestas in honor of our patron saints will not be relegated to an urban legend in the future. Fiestas become celebrated events under the Spanish rule. When the first colonizers noticed that early Filipinos loved celebrations, they used fiestas as a way to entice the natives. Neil Walking on any day, it is typical to see a group of devotees walking on their knees from the main door facing Plaza Miranda to the altar. Some devotees practice kneel walking from the entrance of the church to the altar. 
This ritual is common in this particular church as a sign of devotion to the Black Nazarene. Genuflection, typically one knee, still plays a part in the Anglican, Lutheran, Roman Catholic, and Western Rite Orthodox traditions, among other churches. It is different from kneeling in prayer, which is more widespread. In my opinion, religious rituals and ceremonies across all regions in the Philippines made us all diverse, yet it shaped our emotions and helped humans come to terms with the major events of life. These traditions allows them to reduce their anxiety and boost their confidence and reflect to themselves spiritually. Some rituals may be done through hurting the physical self, but emotionally and spiritually, a person is molded. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.